when you look at flowers and trees, have you wondered if there's any pattern in how the flowers are arranged? Take a look at these flowers. We have begonia, mustard, orchid, and this funny looking flower over here is called bladder campion. Do you see any similarities or differences in how the flowers are arranged in these plants? Take a minute, pause the video if you want and note down your thoughts. So let's understand the pattern of floral arrangement. First off, what is a flower? A flower is the structure in angiosperms that houses the reproductive structures of the plant. It is formed when the shoot apical meristem becomes the floral meristem. The arrangement of flowers on the floral axis is called inflorescence. Now what is a floral axis you may ask? The floral axis is the part of the flower on which the reproductive structures and the other ancillary parts of the flower are attached. So there are two main types of inflorescence, racemos and cymos. Let's delve deeper into each type of inflorescence. In racemos inflorescence, the main axis of the stem keeps growing and the flowers are formed laterally to the sides. So here in this plant, the stem would have initially been say this high as the plant was young. And when it was this high, this flower formed to the sides laterally. And then when the stem continued to grow, newer flowers will be added to the top of the older flower. So in racemos inflorescence, the main axis continues to grow and newer flowers are added on top of the older existing flowers. So this pattern of arrangement where newer flowers are on top of older flowers is called acropetal arrangement. And this is commonly seen in leaf formation as well. When leaves are formed, they follow the acropetal arrangement as well. So because the main axis continues to grow in racemos inflorescence, it can still continue to grow and produce more flowers to the sides. Racemos inflorescence is also called indefinite type of inflorescence. So examples of flowers that display racemos inflorescence include gulmohar. Here you can see this is the main axis that can continue to grow and the flowers are added to the sides laterally. So this here, this bottommost flower is the older flower and newer flowers are added to the sides as the main axis keeps growing. Other examples include mustard, radish and orchid. And we saw mustard and orchid flowers earlier in the video, didn't we? Those flowers also display racemos type of inflorescence. In cymos inflorescence, the main axis first terminates in a flower. Unlike in racemos inflorescence where the main axis continues to grow, in cymos it terminates in a flower. And this is the first flower that is formed in this axis. After this flower has formed, which is now the older flower, newer flowers are added below the older flower in this arrangement. So this type of arrangement where older flower is on top and newer flowers are added below the older flower is called basipetal. So because in cymos inflorescence the main axis terminates in a flower, it cannot grow indefinitely like in racemos inflorescence, right? That's why cymos inflorescence is also called definite type of inflorescence. Examples of cymos inflorescence include calotropis, which is here, this is the older flower, the main axis has terminated. Below this, newer flowers are beginning to grow. Other examples include begonia, bougainvillea and jasmine. And even the bladder campion example that we saw earlier in the video, that also displays this cymos type of inflorescence. So the next time you see a flowering plant, try to figure out its inflorescence. Check if it is racemos or cymos. So now we have quite a lot of confusing terms, right? Racemos, basipetal, cymos, acropetal. How do you remember which is which? Well, I'd like to use something called word associations to remember these terms. 
and this works for me and you can come up with your own word associations to remember the meanings of these terms let's take a look at racemos first so the word racemos has the word race in it and what happens in a race we run to see who can finish first right so i'd like to think that in racemos in florescence the flowers are competing against each other to see who can be on top who can be on the topmost part of the stem and what happens in a race when old people like your grandparents try to compete against you well you're more faster than your grandparents right you will obviously win the race so you can think of as race mos as newer flowers racing against older flowers and then winning and coming on top of the older flowers well this is how i'd like to remember race mos as being newer on top and older at the bottom and race mos also has the word acropetal in it acropetal also means newer on top and older in the bottom the word acropetal can be associated with the word acrobat and have you seen acrobats in circuses they like to jump high in the circus right they jump high and they do all sorts of stunts and usually acrobats are people who are young old people like your grandparents cannot be acrobats right so in the case of acropetal i'd like to remember the word acrobats in which the newer flowers are the acrobats that jump high in the air and the older flowers are the older audience your grandparents and my grandparents who are sitting in the audience and watching these acrobats do incredible stunts that's how i'd like to remember the word acropetal to mean newer on top and older at the bottom what about cymos now so cymos remember is where the older flower is on top and the newer flowers are at the bottom the word cymos has the word sai in it and sai is what the older people in your house your parents grandparents do when they're disappointed in you right you sit below them on the floor and they're standing and they're looking at you with a disappointing look and saying sai you've done it again that's how i'd like to remember that the older flowers are on top and we the younger flowers the younger people are below them are sitting below them on the ground and that's how i'd like to remember cymos with the word sai now what about the word basipetal now i'd like to think that basipetal has the word boss in it or it sounds similar to the word boss and who's the boss in our house it's always our parents right it's always the elders who are the boss in our house that's how i'd like to remember basi petal as the older flowers being the boss they're on top and in the hierarchy the newer flowers that's us younger people we are below them that's how i'd like to remember basi petal to mean older on top and newer at the bottom you can come up with more quirky weird word associations that you can use to remember terms not just in biology but in all other subjects cool isn't it